$175 million of grant money is being distributed to seven groups and organizations across Tennessee to help serve low-income families. Wow, that's a lot of money. Governor Lee and the state's Department of Human Services made that announcement today with one of those recipients right here in our area. WAT 6 on your side reporter Veronica Obey spoke with United Way of Greater Knoxville about how the funds will help those in need. Every Tennessean deserves our best effort. Governor Bill Lee announcing the effort to help low-income families through the Federal Temporary Assistance for Needy Families Fund, also known as TANF. Tennessee embarked on a bold experiment to transform the way our safety net serves vulnerable uh, Tennesseans. The plan is to distribute $175 million to seven groups and organizations, giving them $25 million apiece over the course of three years. United Way Greater Knoxville is one of the organizations in charge of finding a way to serve East Tennessee through the pilot initiative. Starting at the beginning of November, the state will start distributing those funds. So, so far, United Way plans to distribute $15 million out to families directly, a decision that has been in the works. Over the course of those three months, we had 13 different community conversations with over 300 families and really asked what would help you, what would be a best use of these funds in your life. The feedback included the need for affordable housing, quality early Early child care and education and food security. We're also talking about mental health, access to good transportation, really those building blocks of a strong and successful life. Although it's still a rough draft for United Way, Couch says they do plan to walk through the process with as much involvement from the community. The work really starts for us now where we get to bring in the community, bring in nonprofit partners, and really put into place a great way to implement this pilot program. Reporting in Knoxville, Veronica Obey, WATE 6 on your side. That $15 million will be distributed to families directly, although Couch says it has not been determined how families will be chosen just yet. We'll let you know.